what I'm attempting to make is a warning light for this fuel gauge. At the moment I have the gauge set up to a voltmeter and the voltage is the voltage from the sender unit to earth across the back of the gauge. I'm showing full scale deflection at 4.75 volts. I'm just going to change the voltage so that the reading on the gauge is approximately 1 8th. So it's now stabilised at about 2.3 volts. So I think if the warning light came on at that position I'd be quite happy. 2.5 volts. So if I can match 2.5 volts I can make that warning light come on. There's a little bit of circuitry that I've got to build but it can be done. This is the circuit using an LM2901N transistor which is a voltage comparison transistor. This is the potentiometer, 47k potentiometer going from zero, sorry from zero to 12 volts. This is the reference voltage, taking the reference voltage off here. 218 kilo ohms here, 47 kilo ohms here, which makes this voltage point here approximately 2.2. And when these two values are the same, current is allowed to flow to here. So this is the diode. So as the voltage in this increases from zero, the lights off, increases from zero, gets to 2.2, .2. these two voltages are the same, light goes on, voltage increases all the way to 12, light stays on. But I want, I want the voltage to go the other way around. I want the voltage in this circuit to be off when it's above 2.2 .2 and on when it's below 2.2. .2. So below 2.2 .2 volts the LED is off, above 2.2 .2 volts the LED is on. I'm just going to increase the voltage in the potentiometer. Creep it up to 2.2. .2. Steady, steady, there we go. So all the way above 2.2 .2 volts the LED is on. And when you come down, when it gets to below 2.2 .2 volts, the LED will go off. Just creeping it down slowly. There we go. The LED goes off. Obviously as far as my circuit's concerned for the fuel light, this LED is actually working the wrong way around. It wants to be on below 2.2 .2 and off above 2.2. .2. I've now modified the circuit to include a relay, an HDF41A relay. What it will do is when the voltage is zero, the light is on, normally closed. When the voltage increases to 2.1 or whatever the set voltage is, the light will switch off. This is a situation where we'd have an empty fuel tank. The voltage is zero and the light is on. There's the light there. I'm going to fill the fuel tank. Increase the voltage in the potentiometer. 
and it gets to 2 volts, 2.2 volts, it switches off. We've now got more than an eighth of a tank of fuel in the car. All the way to full. As the tank drains down, the voltage drops. When the voltage drops to 2.2 watt uh, volts, the light switches on. I've now installed a second potentiometer. The second potentiometer is so we can vary the position that the light comes on at. So if we tweak this potentiometer when it's actually in the car, we can set it for whatever voltage we want the fuel tank light to come on at. What I've done now is I've replaced the potentiometer that was uh, acting as a fuel gauge. I've actually replaced it with the fuel gauge. And I've now got a variable resistor, or a uh, half of a potentiometer actually, to act as a centre unit. So the gauge will operate. This potentiometer, I'll use that to correct the gauge level that the light comes on at. You'll see that in a moment. This might prove quite awkward because I'm going to try and do this with the phone in my hand. But at the moment the gauge is showing full. I'm going to reduce the voltage in the potentiometer or the voltage across the potentiometer. So I need to get the gauge down to the level I want it at. So that's good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the potentiometer so the light comes on. So that's 2.16. So if I adjust this potentiometer to 2.16, there we go, that's the light come on now at 2.2. .2. 